What is going on everybody? It is the Phantom Michael bringing you episode number 34 of the BDSP Rival Lock. Of course, I'm joined with the one, the only, DJ Spinda. What is going on guys? DJ Spinda here. Dylan, are you ready to rock and roll? I just I just completely uh Okay. Let's do it in three, two, one, go. Okay. Am I ready to rook and rule? Yep, yep. I don't know Run. where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. You don't know where you're going. I have no idea where I'm going. Look at all those chickens. Look at all those chickens. Oh, do I have to go back to Orberg? Oh, do I have... Hmm. I gotta check and see if I have a fossil. A fossil? Fossil. Fossil. I don't know like if I have... I don't right even there. know if I have a fossil. Yeah, mm. Let's see if I have a fossil. What do you say? Not that. Nope, you I don't have it? a fossil. That giant rock is actually a Pokemon. What? That's okay. Fossil Pokemon are booty cheeks anyway. How dare you say that, sir? Booty a cheeks. You don't know nothing about cheeks about of the booty. Pokemon. Cheeks of the booty variety. Dude, I am about to get rid of walking Pokemon. Yeah, they're annoying, aren't they? Yes. They're so slow, I just... I don't understand. Whoa, I've never done this before. Oh, you can just... Dude, we don't have to go to the Pokemon Center every time like we've been doing, Mike. For what? For our rival battles. What do you mean? You literally press Y. Uh-huh. And you can select a union room. Are you kidding me? From wherever you are, yep. Oh, I'm actually salty about that. Yeah, I had no idea that was a thing. Hmm. Way to make me feel stupid, game. Thanks a lot. Stop. Wait a minute. Fill my cup, put some liquor in it. Dude, where the heck is this gym leader, bro? He ain't here, I don't think. Mm, back to Mount Coronetti. Yeah, you know, you would think that if they're gonna make, they're gonna go through the trouble to make animations for Pokemon following you, that they would yep. make it better than this. Like it's so slow. Gen, Gen Four remakes of Heart Gold Soul Silver had the best. Well, that's because animations. it was just it was literally it wasn't like this is like free running. The, right. You know, the wild Pokemon are like free running with you. They have different speeds and tempos and stuff. Like, I see what they're trying to do, but it also is, they're all slow. Like, there's only a handful of Pokemon that are actually fast enough to keep up with you, and it's really yeah. annoying. Yeah. But, like, in the old games, it was literally just a code, or, like, it was another, it was a piece of code following right behind you, you know? I don't know what I'm looking Speaking for right now. Speaking of code following behind you, my friend, I think we need to work on our Pokemon fan games a little bit more. Yeah, I mean it's pretty easy to, to add the... Pokemon following you. To be honest with you, I think it'd be fun to, to add it the, uh... add it into a fan made game. It's not it's not hard to do. do. The only thing that I think I already did that has kept me from doing it is the fact that I like having custom Pokemon. That too. And right. if I mean you can do it with custom Pokemon, but it's a whole whole lot more work. Yeah. Um. Gosh darn, I could have sworn I had bought in repels. Oh man, this is gonna ha. suck. He's in here somewhere. He's in that cave. Badoof, I call upon you to break these rocks. <laughs> Badoof, I need your help. Well, I wanna... <laughs> Badoof, I call upon you so to surf me is... across this water. Yes, it's, right it's actually a barrel, but. I don't know where I'm going, hmm. but I sure know where I've been. Dude, I like how this electric gym leader is like, bro, I'm so BA that I get so bored of, of just wrecking weak challengers. <laughs> Hanging on the promises and the songs of yesterday. I want to see Volkner fight Cynthia. What? I want to see Volkner fight Cynthia. Do it. I ain't wasting no more time. Can team beat the elite here four? I go again. 
Here I go again. Careful now, careful. There we go. Careful there, Sonny Boy. Badoof, I call upon you to climb these rocks. Come to me, Klaus. <laughs> Badoof, I call upon you to fly me to the city. <laughs> Jeez. I call upon the mighty powers of the god Badoof. Be like, uh, what is that, Lion-O? How does lion -O call his powers? <laughs> Thunder. 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 Yeah, Thundercats. Whoa. Badoo. 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 Whoa. 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 <laughs> Did you I'm see the new in. Master of the Universe? Get away I just from browsed this around Target or Walmart chair. in the past year, Dylan. What now? One of the. Uh, let, let me just break the, the uh, barrier here. As a young child. Some of the early toys that I remember as a kid were really junky He-Man toys, right? Yeesh. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, I hear you. Really hard I never plastic. really had any of them, but... You know what I'm talking but you know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely. So, I go to freaking Target or something not too long ago, and I go into the toys, and I see the new He-Man toys, and I'm like, dude, if I'd have had that when I was a kid, I'd have been freaking... Like, oh, I you saw the current the current ones, you mean? Dude. Like, do they st they still make He-Man toys? Bro. That's crazy. Yeah, they, they did a whole revamp, Master of the Universe revamp on Netflix, I think. That's kind of wild. I think it's more adult-oriented. That's even weirder. So, yeah. Yeah, He-Man looks like he would rip your freaking head off and throw your body in a well. <laughs> yeah. Throw all your body parts down the well. Is that a new song? Yep. Instead of throw all your dreams down the well. You remember that Here song? Go again on throw your own. dreams down the well. Not a song that I know, man. It's from SpongeBob. What? Yeah. Throw all your dreams down the well. Hmm. Remember when they, they have the wishing well? And... Everybody keeps falling to the bottom of it, and Spongebob, Patrick, and Squidward get stuck in the bottom of it, and that's when Patrick's like, You got your elbows in my ribs! And stop stepping in my potato salad! <laughs> I, th I think so. And yes, he's like, I know exactly what and he's like, about. he's afraid, uh, he's like, Squidward's like, I'm claustrophobic, and he's like, Oh, what does that mean? That means he's afraid of Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho! Stop, Patrick, you're scaring him! I thought that was the box. Nope, they're down in the bottom of the well. No, Stop dude. Stop that, did you just carry him? I am no, like the bottom 90 of the well. percent sure that was I the box. I promise you. No, the the box is when... The, yeah, the box is when they do that whole avalanche thing and they're like dying. <laughs> oh, God. It's good. We're just feeling really bad. And then he goes into the box and nothing happens. You're blowing my mind right now. Yep, look it up, man. It's in the it's bottom of the well. I don't believe you. It's that I really just do not believe you. Mm. Yeah, I mean, when you when you look it up, boy, are you gonna feel silly? No. Are you gonna feel silly? Dylan, I think I would know. Mm. I'm a I'm yep. a sponge SpongeBob. But I don't connoisseur. think you do, Mike. But Dylan, I don't are you trying you to challenge me in the middle of a rival lock? Because I'll yes, tell you. Yes, that's why we're rivals. I I know way more about Spongebob than you Oof, think you do. Buddy, 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 buddy. Mm -hmm. Just so you know, you're going to now have to look it up when you edit this episode and throw it in here, the correct answer, and boy, are you going to feel silly. You know what? You know what? I might. Mm -hmm. Throw all your dreams down the way. <laughs> <laughs> See, now you know because you watched the video. You believe me now. See? Mm. Look at that. Weird how that works. Get out of my face. I don't believe you. Ooh, energy ball from a... Testing. Safety. What? There we go. Making sure this stuff was working right. I, I I didn't think about it when I was like, I had to restart my OBS because it was like yeah, bugging you, out. Yeah, you so I was, forgot I was to like, check just wait, my mic has, hasn't has been recording this whole time, you know, that kind of thing. And that was not the case, and we're good to go. I'm going to battle this galactic foe. Foe, you don't show. don't anything about Team Galactic. 
time is fleeting. Madness takes its toll. <laughs> Madness takes its toll. I remember doing the time warp. Dude, I actually really like that movie. It's so dude, stupid. It's and freaking bomb, dude. Let's do the time warp again. Let's do the time warp. It's just a jump to the left. Do be to be to be to be de. And now the step to the right. Put your hands on your hips. Put your hands on your hips. Ba do ba da ba da 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 ba. We're gonna get copyright struck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are. What you need? Do the, the pelvic, pelvic thrust. thrust. It really drives him insane. Hey, hey, Let's do the top rope again. Yep. Yep. Mm. Yep. Yep. Mm. Then take it. Put it on my wallet. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. Yes, that is one of the best SpongeBob lines in the entire. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, that's not I my <laughs> this is, is your, your name. Idea. Yep. Is your name Patrick Star? Yep. And is this your ID? Yep. I found this I ID found. in this wallet. So if that's the case, this must be your wallet. Makes sense to me. Then take it. But it's not my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> is that when he rips the top of his head off or like throws <laughs> yeah. him? SpongeBob, tickle him! <laughs> It tickles, but I. It tickles so much, but it's worth it. Just like smacking him around, Just throwing him around, Hulk no, style. You know Mark Hamill plays that guy. Yeah, I can totally tell. Plays oh. Man Ray. Oh my gosh, that was so. Remember when he takes his freaking helmet off and it's just like a severed head. <laughs> the helmet was like, yeah, he just takes the helmet off and there's no head there. Yeah. It's like oh. I have no need for this anymore. You have cured me. The dirty bubble is now the clean bubble. <laughs> so when are we making me dirt? <laughs> Dude, where the hell do they come up with their, like, evil team? <laughs> the dirty bubble. <laughs> the, That's, the dirty bubble. You know, all of that, all of that is based upon, um... Uh, like the old school Justice Friends kind of thing. Yeah. Who, um, gosh darn it. What in the heck? Who, what is it? The Atomic Flounder was another one? Yeah. It's like, oh, that's the Atomic Ooh. Flounder. And he gets over there and goes, I haven't been evil in 30 years. <laughs> then he had like blows they... SpongeBob's face off. I'm literally listening to the music here, like, in the snowy, mm -hmm. wind-blowing Mount Cornet area, mm -hmm. and it's got some sick drum fills in there, like, I had to stop and listen for a second, it's kind of wild. Mm. It's like, do 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 Did you play those drum beats? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you might be a drummer, but are you a good drummer? You might be a redneck. Ooh. Battle me! Do you really want to learn such a move? Dude, uh, when we played for Halloween, I know uh -huh. this is a while ago now, when we played for Halloween, we played the Monster Mash, which was fun. Mm. Um, but my favorite Halloween song to play that we played was um, uh, Ghostbusters theme. That was a lot of fun. Oh my goodness, who, who sang? And you know what's crazy? Like, if mm -hmm. you were in a bar on Halloween, dressed up, everybody's having fun, and you hear a band in the bar start playing, you know, when there's something strange in your neighborhood, you know, you start hearing that, what, what would be your reaction? If I was drinking? Yeah, if you were just in the bar on Halloween night, having a blast, and you heard the ba the... The band in the bar start playing that song. How would you react? Ghostbusters! Would you have some energy? Would you be a little excited? Would you maybe I'd get probably, turned up? I'd probably, I'd probably be, like, explode. Well, the reason I ask is because we played it. 
on Halloween night, and yeah, not I'm a freaking... single soul turned around and looked at us. No one cared. Are you? No, uh, dude, there's no way, bro. I'd have lost Crazy. my mind. Crazy. Crazy. I would have lost my mind. We played through that whole song, and literally no reaction. Are you serious? Serious. Dude, I, I think I would have lost my mind. It was the lamest Saturday night. It was the lamest Halloween night we've ever played. Wow. There weren't that. There weren't even that many people in there either. But like, you would think that oh, even if, with a even with okay. a small crowd, you go play in a song like that on Halloween night, like you're gonna get some reaction, you know? Right. No, not a thing. Wow, that's terrible. You know what? You know what was way better though. Our our second night, our Saturday night, when we played for right around Christmas time, we played the week before Christmas. Mm -hmm. Twas the week before Christmas, and we played in the bar. <laughs> um, Not a creature was present, <laughs> except for Mildred. Next Mildred. Um, yeah, no, that was that was Friday night was a decent crowd. Saturday night was a really fun wild crowd. It was crazy. Yeah. Um, and we played a bunch of Christmas songs. We played, you know, Run Run Rudolph and Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, and the one that we played several times because it kept getting requested. After we played it the first time, was Rocking Around the Christmas Tree. That one just went really well, you know. Rocking around the Christmas tree and my Christmas nice. and mm -hmm. you know, and and that that was a fun one, and we played that like several times that night. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta sing our, your favorite Christmas, on Larry, on Peggy, on. <laughs> we could do it. Larry and Peggy. I think they're gonna be my one of my top favorite soloing pairs that we've ever had. We should do a video <laughs> one day, Dylan. Just doing a collaborative Dude. thing of all of our favorite collaborative top pairs. five video. Favorite pairs, favorite maybe maybe pairs. not even best pairs, just favorite pairs, pairs that meant a lot to us. Yeah, I, I feel like Fuego, and Fuego and Medea has got to be up there. Fuego and Medea, Fuego and Medea, uh, Africa, bro, Africa and uh, oh, is it was it Fuego? No, 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 it was Africa and Mystic. I think it was. Yeah, because it was you had you had a Hippowdon and I had a Nine Tails. Dude. See, Medea yeah. for you was a Marowak. Yeah. Oh my god, bro. We've had such crazy Soul Link pairs. It's funny. It's always like the weird pairs you wouldn't think of that mm. are the ones that mean the most to us. Honestly, like... Uh, I mean, I really... The Enchantress pair oh from... My was it Black goodness, and White 2? That one you carried for so oh, long. Oh, you're so right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, Enchantress was huge. Enchantress was absolutely Enchantress huge. was literally the only Pokemon I had for like 90% of that playthrough. Really? Yeah, cause, yeah. well remember, I, I everything I had was, was cheeks in comparison to what you were getting. You had all these, all these, you know, you had a Groudon linked with my, you know, uh, I don't know, I think Groudon was linked with like a dust stocks or something i don't know it was, it was something really like okay let's talk about losing soul links bro dude what about also if i remember the dragon danced one more time we would have won do you remember the um the very short-lived pair that we had it was probably to this day the biggest craziest pair we've had and it was you had Arceus and I had a Torterra. You remember that? Shit? Yep. Yep. We had that. We had that pair for like an episode and a half, and Torterra got one shot, crit from a Gardevoir in a triple battle. Mm -hmm. That the rotation landed battle a psychic. Us. Yeah, dude, I got I got totally shocked in that battle. Just completely like whoa. <laughs> also, you remember that Sea King? <laughs> <laughs> No, we'll never. That, I thought we were never talking about that again, dude. That was literally the funniest thing that I I, I haven't laughed I, that hard on our on either channel in such a long time. Like since I, then, I thought uh, we were never talking about that again. That was the funniest thing. That was that was literally <laughs> the agreement that we were never gonna bring oh, that situation man, up ever that again. Was that was stuff. the most BS stuff. I still won that <laughs> that whole thing. I won the whole thing. But, yeah, I didn't even I didn't even care about that afterward. <laughs> that oh, just that so moment stupid. was worth everything. It was so funny. So stupid. 
And it was so early, dude. It was like third badge. Yeah, we were right outside of... It was right outside of Lavender Town. Yeah. I, I remember the freaking... Uh, the gambler with the damn horn drill. Dude, I and what's funny is I experienced that right before you, so I knew it was coming, and I didn't I didn't say anything. I was like, dude, I gotta see what happens here. <laughs> then you just hear me go, oh my gosh! And I was like, the gambler? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Stupid. Oh man, and and then you were so distraught after that. You literally you you were lucky it only had horn drill and didn't have anything else because you went into an onyx afterward. And I was like, I just remember thinking, I was like, dude, Mike is throwing so hard right now. Like, I just he's got losing so mad, his, just, I don't care. Losing his marbles right now. Yeah, that, was, that was wild. The game was over. Remember when I had a Deli Bird in Fire Red and Leaf Green? Mm-hmm. And, dude, and Deli Bird lived in ancient power from a freaking, um, oh, what was it? A Kyogre, bro. It mm -hmm. lived... It lived in ancient power, four times super effective, from a Kyogre. I should think you screamed about that. That's kind of crazy. Like, looking back at it, like, thinking about that, like, actually, like, thinking about the X's and O's of that. Because I don't think I was that much over-leveled. I maybe had a couple happened. of levels. That, there's no way. I don't, know, I don't know how that happens. I have no idea Shady, how that happens. Shady himself was watching you saying, live. <laughs> Speaking of that, yeah, did you finish the rival lock between the pair of them? Which one? Uh, old A Drive and Shady. Oh, the cage lock. No, I did not. Or yeah. Oh my gosh, my Ambipom is his pickup is coming in super clutch right now. Yeah, you know what? I'm glad you yep. said that because I have pickup too. And Yoko hasn't picked me up nothing. All right, I'm in a gym badge, and we only have three minutes left in the episode. Oh, yeah. This is another episode where I'm not going to really get anywhere. I'm almost to the peak of Mount Coronet. I'm almost to yeah. the peak where I... So next episode will be, like, I'm going to do the legendary shenanigans. Like, I don't think it's going to happen in this episode of the thing. Dude, you just literally just walk in, and you just battle everybody, and then throw a Master Ball. I actually got this game for Devin for Christmas. Hmm. Yep. That you know what? I got a game. When you walk into a game, when I... you walk into a battle expecting to sweep with a Pokemon with a super effective move and realize that you forgot to PP up that move. Ooh, hmm. good times. Yeah. Um, I got a I got a game for Dusty for his Switch for Christmas as well. What'd you get him? And you know what game I got Dusty? Uh, Nickelodeon Battle Stars. Oh my god, does he love it? I haven't even asked him about it, honestly. Kind of forgot Me about too. it. Uh, my dog they is upset, add, and I have no idea why. They didn't add Hugh Neutron, so I was kind of like, you know what? I don't even want this game. <laughs> Did you actually buy the game? No, when they when they came out with the list and said Hugh Neutron was not in the game, I was like, dude, then why would I want to play? Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, Michael, Michael. I'm gonna send you to the shower room. I literally need to go buy some items. This is kind of holy insane, piss, but... Dylan. Holy piss! Oh my gosh! Uh, did you just lose somebody? Me needs to know. Somebody's dead. <laughs> oh, dude, I think you jinxed the piss out of me, bro. Oh, no. I mean, yes. <laughs> dude. What did I do? Dude. Oh, was I'm so it, was it, off, bro. Was it, was it us sitting here talking about all the weird deaths we've had over the years, and then you just, like, had some wild stuff happen? Mm-hmm. I love it. I love it. I love everything about it. I don't even want to. I don't even want to tell you. I don't even want to tell you. Honestly, you don't. You don't have to. I've never told you about a Pokemon I lost because I don't want you to have any sort mm -hmm. of strategic advantage in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. But 
Mm. Oh, does this have this have heat proof? No, he doesn't. Okay. Mm. Um, I uh, <laughs> if it <laughs> honestly, if you lost your Torterra, that would mean so much to me right now. <laughs> you really think I lost that? I mean, I highly doubt it because Torterra is such a such a monster and has very few weaknesses. Has one That's really strong weakness, but. <laughs> Hey, where do you th son of a bitch, Dylan? <laughs> yeah, one very strong weakness. To an ice type move. Yeah. And where's the least place you'd expect an ice type move to come from? In the ice gym. That's funny. I said the That's least. Funny. I'm not it, dude. I'm battling the electric gym leader. Oh yeah, that's right. We already did the ice type one. Um, what's our time at? Well, time's up, bro. Oh, I'm like in a wild battle here. I'll run away. I was still, Dude, I was still running around, but I've got some more battles happening that here. That really effed my whole shit. Shit's up right there. That's crazy. Cray, cray in the best it's way. Like, <laughs> if I don't knock this thing out in the, this hit right here. Well, I, I saved and I'm not moving, so... This better knock this thing out, dude. Oh, are you still battling? Oh my gosh, dude! <gasps> dude, if the, if I, I can't remember if it if it if it if, it, if it's like roar time. Oh, where there's like a recharge? There's not. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Oh, this is... I'm so pissed. <laughs> Dylan, this, this, this battle right here literally ruined my whole my whole life. Good. Good. This is the first misfortune Dude, that you've so got to see. You're so freaking strong and it's stupid. That, dude, that... Honestly, the fact that you are struggling right this second makes me super nervous. Because, like, I think I'm not as far behind you as I'd like to think I am, but I'm definitely far behind you level-wise. I'm really pretty sure of that. You pansy A-B, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm so pissed. Dude, he might win because we don't, we don't have battle or items in battle. What's that now? So because we can't heal and stuff in battle, he might actually kill me. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. If you, Dude, okay, Mike. Real talk. If you lose here... Mm -hmm. If you lose here, mm -hmm. are you going to try to come back? I'm going to try. I mean, at that point, you'd just be banking on me losing at the same spot. Because mm -hmm. mm. you think you think about it, if you're at the electric gym, I have the water starter. <laughs> Bro, there is no way I lost that Pokemon. Have you, have you lost multiple Pokemon at this point? No. Dude, I'm literally, like, this whole battle right here ruined my life. <laughs> like, that was my one answer. My, I realized how weak my team is to one specific type, and I wasn't worried. And I, I literally came in here with the notion that I shouldn't be worried about it, but I totally am. Oh, I'm so glad this Pokemon's so clutch. Oh, you killed it too, you bastard! Oh, no! Oh, you bastard. This is my new favorite episode. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you bastard. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is BS. I don't know. Is it legal for me to, like, keep pushing on and doing battles while you're stuck here doing this? Battles. Because I haven't... Better. I was going to say, I haven't been moving the last, like, three minutes. Oh, dude. Oh, if you got a crit right there, it was going to be over. <laughs> oh, this is so stupid. 
Dude, I literally, I, I literally. All right, how do I do this, bro? Because 99, 109, four times, two times. I mean, what's your freaking speed, bro? I'm gonna base you off this. Dude, I got to. I got to give it a shot. I'm banking on you doing... If you if you predict this, I'm going to throw... I just... I'm going to throw my controller. Okay, you didn't. I'm so angry I'm burping right now. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, I won. Two... Two losses... Stupid. I'm so mad. Okay, guys. If you guys enjoyed this episode of the BDSP Rival Lock, please smash that like button. Support is always greatly appreciated. DJ Spinda sucks. And with that, <laughs> I didn't even do I'll anything. See you guys. It's your fault you jinxed it. Shut up. I'll see you guys <laughs> in the next one.